the glory days. When it comes to golden eras, not many are richer than Parramatta's premiership run in the early 80s. In 1981, 82 and 83, the Eels were the envy of the rugby league world, winning three straight titles. They won a fourth in 1986. 40 years on from their grand final triumph over Manly in 1983, Parramatta's premiership players have come together to celebrate and reminisce the club's most decorated decade. Well, I think it's a tribute to the club that they've been able to bring us all together and recognise what did occur back in the early 80s. And I think it's, a, I mean, we were rewarded a medal on stage when we won the grand final at the Sydney Cricket Ground. But for the club to go above and beyond and get everybody together, I think it's a, it's a great tribute to them. For something that took place four decades ago, uh, it's, it's really special. Back in the day, rings weren't in vogue, but to be presented with them today, and everybody, not just the players, but the support staff, the coaches, the trainers, uh, it's great recognition and something that was a complete surprise, which is always nice. The friendship is what makes the side go so well. I mean, you obviously got to have ability, but I mean, it's just the friendship, just bagging the crap out of each other. I mean, it's just terrific. It's good, good to see Sterlo and say, mate, you look terrific. You know, where's your wig? You know, that, that type of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it means a lot. You know, when you when you first get invited to these things, you think, oh, yeah, this, this will be OK. But I've seen so many faces today that I haven't seen for a long time. So part of that and, and, and for what it's about, it's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. A double, a double and another double. I don't know if anyone else has ever done that. No, I'm not sure. I often used to watch the grand finals and have a look and see if anyone scored two in one and see follow the following year and see whether, if it happened again. But, um, yeah, no, I don't think it has happened yet, but um, it could happen one day. But, yeah, it's been good, you know. We'd, we've seen some video of, of the games and brought back some good memories. You've had an enormous effect on all of our lives and rugby league fans' lives. The Sunday footy show might not be what it used to be. How do you think the current crop are doing without you? Is it still on? It is still on. It, really? I miss the people I worked with and for. I was very fortunate to work with great people. Um, but they've always done a great job. Hi to all the guys. I'd like to say I miss you, but I don't want to tell you lies. Too much golf and too much travel. No such thing. Can never be enough. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks See you guys. Thank you. Oh, we miss you, Sterlo. I used to love coming in on a Sunday. You know the weekends that um, something would happen and he'd have to host and he would hate it. <laughs> he'd be like pacing up and down hair and makeup, just hating it. But uh, he looks good. Hair and makeup. Yeah. <laughs> brow, brow and makeup. <laughs> I hope you're watching, Sterlo.